jobs, if you work in marketing, you know these are marketing terminologies, you know, if you're of L'Oreal, because you're worth it. Why are you worth it? Mm, doesn't matter, you're worth it. Why? Because we need to know our own origin a little bit. And there's a reason behind this. When someone says you are made in the image of God, what are the consequences of those words? What do they actually mean? What do they actually signify? Now, it says, then God said, let us, us. That was the first time in the creation account that God used the word us. Now, you would think, is God referring to the angels or whatever? Is God talking to himself? What's going on with God? Like, God, what's going on here? It says, let us make man in our image. Now, we know through the scripture that us consider the God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, what is happening here is this. God is saying, let us, the triunity of God, let us make man. Um, let us take our hands together. Let us make something special. Now, you ought to understand the significance of this. Um, God had to use his entire fullness, everything about him, to say, let us make man. Let us make him. Now, if we even go further, it says, in our image, according to our likeness. What does that mean? Now, it says image and it says likeness. I'll use an example. Someone caught me out once and said, Femi, why is it that every time you sit down, you're always crossing your legs? You probably have noticed that about a habit of mine. Um, and then I became super conscious of it. And I'm like, no, I don't. Oh, yeah, I do. Because my leg would just automatically flip without me thinking. Um, and then a week later, I saw my dad and I'm like, ah, so that's where I got that habit from. Because he does it a lot of times. Now, he's my father. I have a certain like, there's a certain likeness about me that I copied from him. Now, I'm not even going to the genetic predisposition at all. It's just the habit, a certain habit about him. Now, think about it. God in his fullness, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, saying, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. That means every single person of his have characteristics that are similar to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, I'll go a step further. Now, what does it mean in our image and after our likeness? It means something that is typical of God is copied in us. I repeat, something that is typical about God is copied in us. Now, what are the things that are typical about God? We know that God is the one that created the heavens and the earth. We know that God is a, is a person who in him contains all wisdom, knowledge and understanding. We understand that there's something about God where he's able to create and create. Being creative is being able to make something out of nothing. You know, the, 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 when you go to our place or whatever, the most creative people are those who are able to create something that does not exist and make it to be. Yes, I may be made by my father or my mother but I'm unique from them. Yes, because of them, I have my brain, I have my heart, I have my legs, I have the capacity to do things. But it does not mean that I'm exactly like them. In many ways, we are made, we are made in the image of God, but we are not God, we're not. But in us, do all the capacity, the potential to do things, to do things, to do things, that we have never have imagined before. So there is not a single individual here who is not unique in a certain way. There is not a single individual here who was given who, whose, whose life's existence is a mistake or a chance. Every single person in here, the reason why you have potential in you is because you were made in the image of God and dwelling in you is a potential to do things which demonstrates the uniqueness of who you are and to glorify God. In all this fullness, God formed us. So, I am not using marketing words to say that you're special because you're special because you're special. Because those things don't mean anything. I'm saying you're special because you're made in the image of God. Because in you are the copy of the fullness of God dwelling in every single individual.